Hello and welcome to a brief video on how you can easily record transfers of money between different accounts using the transfer feature. Let's do a few entries to demonstrate how this can work. For example, let's say you want to record the transfer of money from your checking or savings account into your Visa account. So basically you're making a payment on your Visa account from another account. So let's set up that entry. So let's say it's 11th of January and let's record where the money is going to go to. So we're going to put money into the Visa account to make a payment on it. So we choose Visa. And then here is where we choose transfer in out category to do this. And you'll notice that it's there's a plus sign next to in and a minus sign next to out. So it simply means that to record a transfer into an account, you would use a positive number when you put in your number at the end of this entry. To record money coming out of an account, you would record it as a negative number and put a minus sign in front of the number to show that it's moving out. So anyway, let's show money flowing into your Visa account. Payment to Visa. And let's say it's $500, so we just record it as a positive number, just normally, and we're done. Now that money had to come from somewhere, so let's record the transfer out of the account you took the money from. So let's say that money came from your checking account. So you click on checking, and again we just simply choose transfer in and out just like the other entry. And payment to Visa. And Now to record the money coming out of your checking account you go minus 500. Okay, that's completely done. So as you can see, to record money flowing between accounts, it takes two entries. One entry showing money going in and one money entry with money going out. And you're completely done your entry. Now when we go down to our summary, you can see that it's keeping track of our Visa account. We had money going in. On our checking account, we had money going out. So we have a handy little summary. And you're also going to notice that these entries do not affect income or expenses on your statement. Because there's no expense being incurred or and there's no revenue being earned. So there's no reason to record it as an income or expense. It's simply money flowing between accounts without incurring an expense or revenue. Okay, let's record one other scenario where you use transfer. Let's say it's the 15th of January and you're simply withdrawing money out of one of your accounts from an ATM for example. So let's say you withdrew money from your savings account. In that case you would use it again the transfer in out and let's an ATM withdrawal let's say $60. Well in that case since the money's coming out we'll go minus 60 and you're done. Since the money is not going into another account, you only need to make one entry just to record the withdrawal. Later, of course, when you take that cash that you've withdrawn and you actually spend it on things, you'll have receipts and you'll be making those entries later. So for now, that's all you need to do. And then when you go down here, you can see that it recorded the withdrawal or the out of savings in our summary. Well, so that's really all there's to it. Thanks for tuning in.